This is a very interesting question. It says instantaneous rate of change for a reciprocal function. Determine equation of the tangent line to the parent reciprocal function at x equals to minus 2. So what is the parent reciprocal function? The parent reciprocal function is f of x equals to 1 over x. Okay. Now if you are given x equals to minus 2, so for minus 2 what is the value of the function? So we can write f of minus 2 is equals to 1 over minus 2 which is minus 1 over 2. Correct? So at minus 2 the y value is minus 1 over 2. Correct? Now to find the equation of a tangent line what we should do? We should first find slope right? at this point x equals to minus 2 and once we know the slope then we can find equation of a line using y equals to mx plus b right now how will you find the slope of tangent line to find slope of tangent line on the curve 1 over x the function what should you do you can do quotient difference quotient method right so different quotient method gives you instantaneous rate of change at a point which is slope of tangent line right so let me write this symbol as instantaneous rate of change so I'll write instantaneous rate of change with this symbol okay so instantaneous rate of change at any point in general is given as f of a plus h minus f of a over h right so where a is the point now in our case uh, we have point at x equals to minus 2, right? And the value at minus 2 is minus half, right? So we can write here as 1 over h. I'll write 1 over h here. And then I'll write, make a bracket here to write f of a plus h minus f a, right? So f of a minus h is a is minus half. So for this function, f of 1 over x, right? So I'll replace x with a minus h where a is minus half correct so let 1 over minus 2 plus h minus and what is f of a f of a is minus half right minus minus 2 now this can be simplified and we can do 1 of h equals to let me just do 1 of minus 2 plus h and this minus minus makes it plus half. Is it okay? Now we'll take this common denominator and then right this is 2 times minus 2 plus h and then 2 comes here plus and we have minus 2 plus h. Correct? Now this can be solved and we have 2 minus 2 is 0 and then h and h will get cancelled out. Right? And so we can write this. Let me use this part of the page now. And a different ink. So we get from here we get equals to. So we can write 1 over h. And 2 minus 2 is 0. We are left with just h here. And then we have uh, 2 times minus 2 plus h. Which is minus 4 plus 2h. Okay. Now. You can cancel out h and h and this equation simplifies to 1 over minus 4, right? Now, plus 2h, let me write here. Now, since h approaches 0, right? h is a small increment, slightly. So, what is h? So, we know h is, when we do this, we have h is very, very small as compared to 1, right? It is almost approaching 0 so that we have two points which are very close by and when you join them you the secant approaches the tangent line right as h approaches 0 correct so here h is approaching 0 and so you can write this as equals to minus 1 over 4 so that is the instantaneous rate of change at x equals to minus 2 for the function reciprocal parent function 1 over x so we got slope here right so this could be written as slope so we have a slope here equals to minus 1 over 4 and we know the point is uh, minus 2 for x and uh, minus half of y value is it so when we have this slope and this y value then we can find the equation of the tangent line right so let's find the equation of tangent line 
So equation of tangent line, we can use y equals to mx plus b, right? And uh, what is y value? So y is minus half. So we have minus half equals to m is minus 4. Okay, minus 4. And x is minus 2 plus b, right? And if you take it on this side, it becomes minus half minus 2 goes Okay, let me write here. First, let me simplify this. So it is 1 over 2 plus b, right? And this implies Now let me go from here to this place. So we we have this implies, let me write here, b equals to what? So when we take minus minus or minus half, we get minus 1 here, right? So we get b equals to minus 1, right? And therefore, we have equation of a line, and so the equation of the line is is y equals to the slope is minus one over four, which we found here. X and b is minus one, correct? So this is in slope intercept form. You can write this in standard form also. You can multiply everything by four, and so you get four y equals to minus x minus 4, right? And bring the terms on this side. So you get x plus 4y plus 4 equals 0. So that is our answer, which says, so that should be the equation of tangent line to the parent reciprocal function at x equals to minus 2. Okay, I'll try to understand the method first. What is the reciprocal function? It is 1 over x. We were given the value of x, so find from there we found f of minus 2, right? The value of y, and so we know that the point is minus 2 minus half. And to find the slope of the tangent line, we did instantaneous rate of change using difference quotient method, right? And then we simplified it to get our slope. Once we got the slope, we used the point to write equation of the tangent, right? So equation of the tangent here is given in standard form as well as in soap and intercept form. I hope you appreciate it and understand from it. If there are any questions, you can put your comments and let me know. Thank you.